whenever I try and put together various different presentations, you don't need expensive software to put together good presentations. PowerPoint will do. You can make things look quite professional in PowerPoint. So all I'm going to show, and I've shown Tim this already in a sense. You might know it already. It's fair enough. It's just how to put together a reasonable presentation using PowerPoint tick boards for analysts. You see I've got a blank screen here, but if I right click and go to format background and go to picture and insert, whether you've got one on file or online, online's better because they always come with the right size and um, kind of dimensions needed for the background. And you can type in, once it comes up, here, a background of a football picture, a football pitch template or graphic. So in this I don't get many good options, so I usually have something saved on my desktop. So we insert that and that becomes our background. I'll just adjust the size so the whole thing's in. There you go. So that's my attic board, my football background. And like I said, there's various different ways you can do this. So I can insert a shape that's a circle, right click, format shape, do the same process, insert a picture into that shape. Go to online, let's say Man United logo. And that will insert Man United's logo into that shape. Now, you can mess around with the outside of it, like the outer line, make that white, change the shape and size of it, etc. Some logos look better than others. But what you can do for a really good one is just use an image of the home kit. So this one looks quite nice and sharp. If I click on that and right click and copy the image, okay, I can copy and paste into the presentation. And it looks like that. We don't want the white background, so we want to remove this. So if you double click, up here it says remove background. Double click on the image, press remove background, and you'll see some of it will turn into purple. Whatever's purple is not in the image. So you can mark areas to keep and remove areas here using this little pin. So mark areas to keep is what we want. We want to get rid of some of these purples that are on the kit because we want to keep it. And once we're happy, click the little green tick up here, and there you go. We've got a nice little kit now with the background removed. And that's quite a good way of doing professional. And the third sort of way is just use a shape again. But you don't necessarily need to incorporate a logo, just change the colours and the number. So I'll put my United's colours in again. White outline or black outline with white writing. I'll put the numbers in. Again, you can change the shape of these if you want to. Uh, what you can also do with this is if I go up to this, I can make it more 3D. Put a little bit of a shadow on it and things like that. Just make it again look a little bit more graphic -y, a little bit more professional. Copy and paste, you don't need to do that multiple times. Change one colour to the goalkeeper. And you'll notice when I first type in the numbers here, 11, they don't fit. So if you come across that problem, it's really simple. Again, right click, format the shape. Then you'll come up to this bit here, go to the text options, this little postcardy type thing here, and just unclick this wrap text button. And you'll notice, look, the numbers fit now perfectly in. So you can do the same process for a football, find an image of a football you like, copy and paste it, remove the background. I'll go for a gold one to start off with because it's, it's don't pick a white one on a white background, it's really hard to remove the background for it. It needs different colours really. You can see I've got a nice gold football, I can shrink it down. I can change the colour of this by the way, now I've got it. If I didn't like gold, there's preset colours that you can change it to by again right clicking, format, go to picture. And then there's a picture colour here, recolour, and you can change to all the different colours, so silver or green or blue or whatever you wanted, um, I think with gold. So I'm going to show you now how to do the animations, and there's two ways you can do animations. One, duplicate the slide. So if you look here, I'm just going to copy and paste this slide, duplicate, right click on the slide, and I've got two identical slides now here. On the second slide, the one that's at the bottom, I'm going to go to transitions and press morph. So these are going to morph. When I move these, whatever positions I want, the slide is going to morph from one image to the other image. So when I go into PowerPoint mode now, and I click on the first one, and I go to slideshow from current slide, and then I click the next slide, you can see they morph to the new positions that I've moved the icons into. And you can speed that up as well. So there's a little, uh, on the transitions thing, on this right hand side, two seconds, I can change that down to one. Again, go back to slideshow. Click to the second, it moves, speeds things up in the way it moves. The second way you can do it is, is to do an animation. You click on your icon that you want, you go to animations, add animations down here. I use the custom path, but there are some others. So you do that, click on where you want it to go to and from, and there you go, there's the ball moving. And again, you can play in this top right hand corner with the speed, when it occurs, etc. 
So let's say we want this player to move, add animation, custom path, I want an inverted fullback, come round. Again, I can change the speed of it to make it happen quicker. I can do it so that it happens at the same time as the previous one, like now, or I can make it so that it happens afterwards or on my click. I'll add another one. So I'll add this winger, just add a third animation in here. I'm going to go into that position and speed it up. And I can play around with the order. So if I wanted the winger to happen first, this little animation pane that it says here gives me the order of everything, the timings of everything. And I can change all of these here just by dragging them. So if I wanted, um, for example, the winger to be the first action, I can just grab number three and move it to number two. So again, I can add five lanes if I want to. So here, I just put a shape in that starts with blue, can change the color. I don't really want an outline, just change the transparency. And there you go, you've got a white lane in there. Again, copy and paste it. So you can add the central lane and copy and paste the first one for another wide lane. Now what you'll notice is, you've got nice five lanes, but I can't click on any players now that are beyond these lanes because the shape's on top of it. I can't click on number three here because the shape's on top. So what I do is right click the shape and just send it to back. So right click this lane, send it to back, right click. Or the other way to do it is to click all these, make sure your icons are listed but not the shapes, and then just right click and bring to front. So all my players now are on top of the shape so I can move them freely across the shapes. Okay, a few, a couple more things you can do again in terms of um, animations. You could make the shapes animate, fade in. If you want to go to presentation, you can see here we've got the animations that occur, the little movements and rotations, and now the shapes appear. Um, you can highlight players, little circle around them. Again, just make the circle transparent or whatever you want it to be. You can just make it a circle, red, white, or you can have a little bit of a color, just make it transparent. That's what I tend to do. Just do it something like that. You can draw lines between players as well. And last of all, if I wanted to insert a video, okay, which you do on some of your reports, go to the insert section here, go to a little video. I've got me on my obviously device because I've made hundreds of videos, so I'll just use the last one, which was feedback against West Brom. And the, the, the video will be inserted into the slide. Now I can play around with this using the sort of all these design ideas up here, a border. Um, you can tilt it or whatever you want to try and make it look professional. Um, but the other thing you can do is shrink it right down because that's covering everything. I can make it really small. Now, obviously, because it's small, I can't see anything there. If we were to press play, that doesn't help me. So what you need to do is go up to the top here where it says playback. Click on playback and it will give you the option to play in full screen. When it, And I tend to go to the drop down menu and when I click on it. So right now, if I go into here, when clicked on, okay, it will now. So if I go to slideshow, you've got all everything going on. If I click on the video at any point, it will play, but it will play in full screen for me so that I don't have to get my glasses and magnifying glass out. So just a few hints and tips there on how to do presentations. Obviously, the other thing you can do if you've got a screen recorder like I'm doing with this right now is that you can just move your icons while you're screen recording and do your presentation that way. I um, hope that helped. Any feedback, feel free or any questions, get back to me.